Hey, so this is my review for my myfreeimplants.com. First of all, I want to say I'm really sorry it's so late. I've been super, super busy, and I just simply have not had the time to sit down and do this, even though I said I was going to do it um, a while ago. So sorry for that, but um, I just wanted to answer a few of your questions that you guys um, had asked me on YouTube. So um, first of all, I need to stress that my free implants takes a lot of patience and determination and motivation. If you don't have those things, then this is not going to work for you. Okay, um, it's really important that you make friendships there, especially your first day, um, because there's a section for new girls, and whenever the guys click on that, like, you should be on there, like your first day. So that's how you make most of your friends is your first day because you'll get lots of messages and messages. You'll get lots of messages and chats um, from the guys trying to get to know you and, you know, see what's up with the new girls. So that's always a curiosity with the guys is to see what's new. So um, your best shot is to get to know the guys and um, make sure you put some time aside, especially for your first day because that's when you're going to get the most hits. Um, so, it's really important that you um, get to know the guys, because if they feel like you're just talking to them to get their money, then they won't want to talk to you. You have to be legitimately interested in what they're saying, um, because a lot, of, a lot of them really just want someone to talk to. Um, strange as that is, um, that's how you make the most of your friendships, and, um, you'll, you'll see that you get, like, random donations from those guys, uh, that just, that just want to talk to you, um, I got lucky, um, with mine, because, um, I was talking to two guys who, when I was very crooked, I have to fix it. I can't stand looking at myself with my nose ring crooked. Okay. Um, every time I do that, I forget what I was saying. So, yeah, I got lucky um, because uh, two of the guys that I was talking to were into... Um, I'm not really sure what the phrase is. Like, like uh, Sugar Daddy? They were into that, like, like, they liked to give girls money. And I have to warn you, um, this site is exactly what you think it is. Like, it is not just a bunch of friendly guys just wanting to give their money away. Some of them are, some of them are. I have met several of them. But, um, most of the guys want you to take your clothes off and do things for them which could be a variety of things. Some of them are against the rules on the site, so make sure you read the rules before you do anything on the site because you might do something on accident and then you'll find out that your account has been removed and deleted and you'll lose all your donations because you didn't read the rules. You gotta start from scratch. So make sure you read the rules for you anything. Um, So that's really important to read the rules. Um, for example, you can't give out any of your information whatsoever. Um, like you can do your first name and that's it. You can't give out your last name, you can't give out your phone number, your uh, Facebook, anything like that. It's completely against the rules. You don't want to give out any of your personal information and it's for your safety. So don't do that because um, you never know about these people online. Um, but what I was saying was, there are guys who like to give girls money, but there are some guys who want to make you earn your money. And earning your money can come from a variety of different things, so I do need to stress that um, you will very often get guys asking you to take your shirt off, show me what you're dealing with, 
is a quote that you get all the time. I want to see what you're working with just so I have an idea of what you're going through. They want to sound like that they're sympathizing with you, but they really just want to see some boobs um, for free. But don't ever do that. Like, if like if you're going to, that's fine. But if you are going to, make sure they donate to you first. Okay? Because most of the guys that are like that, they're just trying to get free stuff from you. You know what I'm saying? Like... Always, always, always make them donate first before you do anything. Um, that's a big, 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 big thing. Because um, you would definitely try, they would definitely try to pawn you for free stuff. Um, let's see what else. Oh, make, make sure you fill out your bio and um, your likes and dislikes. But even when you fill out your dislikes, make sure that um, it's nothing, even keep your negatives positive. Like, don't. Don't make yourself seem like a negative person, even if you are. <laughs> I'm a very happy, peppy person, so mine was very simple. Even my negatives, like my ne one of my negatives was um, things I don't like was stepping on a wet spot in socks. Like I hate that, but it's still like it's still like it makes you it makes you kind of laugh on the inside. It's you know everyone can sympath empathize with that. Don't lose hope, um, because whenever you first start, you will start out really slow um, until you figure out like what what is bringing in the most donations. Like there will be a learning curve, um, so that first month or two is going to be really slow, and it will un unmotivate you. But um, just just stick with it and keep learning. Um, find out what you're comfortable with. So like. You'll be on the site for a month and be like, oh, I've only got $30 in donations. I'm just going to give up, and hopefully someday I'll win the lottery and I'll get implants. Um, I'm assuming that you're on the site because you don't have the money to do it. So just, just, just hang in there. You'll miraculously get bigger donations, especially if you can put more time into it. So... Put as much time into my fan plans as you can. If you're not doing anything, get online. Um, that, that would definitely, definitely help you. If you're online more often, guys will talk to you more often. If you're rarely ever online, especially if it's been... Like, guys will look on your profile and see... Like, they can see the last time you logged on. And if they're like, well, this girl hasn't logged in in 20 days... Why talk to her if she's going to be gone for the 20 days? Like like I said before, like a lot of the guys just want to get to know you, so... Um, why, why talk to a girl who rarely gets on when they can talk to a girl who's on all the time? So, there's a, there's a lot of competition, so, you know, try to try to make yourself more available. One other tip, uh, whenever you're filling out your um, profile, um, make sure that you fill out your interests, um, your favorite movies, TV shows, hobbies, you know, stuff you like to do, because the guys can filter the girls that way, and, um, obviously someone's going to want to, like, if you want to get to know someone, you're going to want to get to know someone who's kind of similar to you, so, um, if you guys have something, like, I had Breaking Bad on there, and, and I'm a huge fan of Breaking Bad and Dexter, so I had a lot of messages about, hey, what did you think about um, the last episode of whatever? And um, that's a good way to make friends as well. Also, make sure that you're updating your goal. Um, make sure you do research on how much it's going to be. Because if spontaneously, let's say, like this does not happen often, but let's just say that you are on your account, and it starts off at 4,000, I think, before you change anything for a best documentation, at least. So I think it starts at 4,000 or 5,000. I think it's 4,000. But if you have that set as your goal, and then let's say you go offline, and then you come back, and someone has donated all of your money while you were gone, like I said, this does not happen very often. But let's say that just, just for argument's sake that it happens. You will have to go to your pre-op then and get your quote and let's say your quote is let's just take mine for example my, my quote was six thousand and thirty five dollars 
So now you only have $4,000 in donations, but you already hit your goal. But your actual goal is 6000 so that's $2,000 that you now have to go back onto the site and reset it, basically. Well, not reset it. Like, you'll still have your 4000 but you'll have to go back onto the site and earn that extra $2,000. But in the meantime, you'll be getting emails from my free implants thinking that you made your goal. So um, it's just confusing for everyone. So make sure that you update your, um, your, uh, your um, goal. And set up a consultation, um, like whenever you feel like it's a good time. I waited, I wanted to wait until I got um, closer to 4000 because I wasn't making much. I was probably making an average of like $25 a day. Um, so, actually I was making $25 a day, like on average. Like some days you'll make like, I think one day. Like I, like I said, I had a friend who liked to give me money just to, you know, just because I was his friend. And um, one day he gave me, I think he gave me $800 at once. Just for nothing, just because he was, you know, he liked me and he was, he was being nice. So I got $800 at once. But if that had happened um, before, then... I would have had to go back on the site and raise the, raise the extra two thousand dollars. So that's why it's a good idea. There's, I mean, there's there's really no issue with going to your um, consultation early because you can always just set an appointment later whenever you do reach your goal to your, do your um, pre-op appointment. Your consultation and your pre-op are, are two different things. Your consultation is just getting a quote basically, just seeing what you want, what your idea is, and they give you a quote for. Um, how much your surgery will be, but it's not the same as your pre-op. Um, try to be a likable person. Um, try and stay positive. Um, be excited to talk to the guys. Um, lots of smiley faces uh, really helps. Um, sometimes guys like for you to vent to them if you're having a bad day, but I mean, for the most part, Try to be a very positive, likable person. It really helps. But the best advice I can give you is as long as you stick with it, you will get there. You don't have to... You, by no means do you have to take off your shirt. You do not have to do other things than that. You don't have to get naked. You don't have to... I don't know, use toys, graphic, I know, but that's what guys will ask you to do. You don't have to do that by any means. You could literally be completely nude-free the entire way and just coast through it and still make your goal. It would take you longer, but it's, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. I know a girl who did it. Um, it took her 10 months. So, um, she was completely clothed, just respectful to the guys, and still made her goal. So, um, hopefully that gives you some hope because if, as long as you guys stick with it, you will get there. It will, you know, it will just take you longer depending on what you're willing to do. Um, like for example, on mine, I'm an artist, so on mine I sold sets for my art. Um, I also had some guys, I'm also, um, I'm not a musician, but... I play acoustic sometimes. I'm not the best, but I'm okay at acoustic, and um, I sing a little. So he wanted me to make a video of, for him just playing my guitar and singing, and he was going to do anything for that. So like, you can do things that you're just good at, and uh, make money that way instead of you know doing things you're uncomfortable with. Just just stick with what you're comfortable with. Stick with what you're comfortable with, and stick with the site. Stay motivated. Hang in there, and you will get there. Um, I know I already said that you guys need to read the rules, but um, one of the things in there is if you don't log in one time every 30 days, your account will get canceled. So literally, um, if your goal is 6000 and you have $5,999 and you do not log in, for over a month, you're, you will lose all your donations and not make your goal, and you'll have to reset your account and make all of that again. 
So it's really important that you log in often, you're friendly with the, with the guys, and stick with what you're comfortable with. Stay motivated, and that's the best advice I can give you. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, um, again, on this video, feel free to ask me questions. I feel like I missed some things that I can't really remember right now, so feel free to ask me questions, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Bye, guys.